Hello, my name is Jose Suarez. I am an international student in Calvin University and I had the great opportunity to work with Alamana Center over the summer and the fall, mostly with different projects they had with my school and in scriptural reasoning classes. So today for Lent, I'm going to read Luke 10, verses 29 to 37. And it says, he, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? In reply, Jesus said, A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell in the hands of the robbers? The expert in the law replied, The one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, Go and do likewise. I think in this time of Lent, this passage is very important because it reminds us of the importance of following Christ by loving our neighbors and by going out of our way to actually build community and love with one another, even those who are different from us. And I also think this is a, a very important part of the message and the work that Alamana does. So to close this time and to have in mind the importance of going out of our ways to love others and to stand for those who need our help the most, I'm going to read a prayer for racial healing in our land by the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. God of heaven and earth, you created the one human family and endowed each person with great dignity. Aid us, we pray, in overcoming the sin of racism. Grant us your grace in eliminating this blight from our hearts, our communities, our social and civil institutions. Fill our hearts with love for you and our neighbors, so that we may work with you in healing our land from racial injustice. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you.